something new on the WKR network and this is the finished product this is what we're attempting to build this looks like a standard 40 foot air slide hopper and it is but it isn't this is also a track cleaning car so we're going to show you how to make one of these but first we're going to take a little bit of the history of how I came upon this uh, idea uh, one of the things that I did first was a 60 or 50 foot box car. And what I wanted to do is just take one of my cheaper cars that I wasn't going to worry about and turn it into a rolling track cleaner. And a little, now you can see how effective these track cleaners can be. This has put some mileage behind it and I have yet to clean it. But this little bit of history here. My mother was a school teacher for 40 plus years and in her desk when we cleaned out the house was an ink eraser. You probably remember them from grade school and these make excellent track cleaning abrasive pads, but I can't find them anymore. Maybe somebody knows where you can find them. But this was basically you uh, cut the floor and I used poster board for the sides. Now these wings on the side and the front and the back are important to keep the track cleaner centered on the track as it goes around the track. This one works quite well on a more or less straight track and if you've got very broad turns like the outer lane on an N-track layout, if you get into too tight of corners it tends to close line a little bit off the, the inside. So that was attempt number one. And a very successful attempt number two, I found the two bay hoppers to be excellent track cleaning mostly because of the very short wheelbase. Uh, the shorter the wheelbase, the better. You want your track cleaning element to be uh, just behind the wheels. Now, when you set yours up, before you make your cuts, make sure you twist the trucks to make sure that you're not going to follow the trucks. You can't be too close to the wheels. You have to allow them to get their full turning radius. But other than that, then this also makes an excellent track cleaner. And I use these actually for several years they worked very very well then i've settled on uh, one of the things that i have yet to do is for longer modern trains like amtrak uh, when you have such a long wheelbase what i've come to believe and and what i will attempt to do here is you're going to have instead of having the track cleaner in the center that's guaranteed to fall in the turns so what you need to do, you could either do one cleaning element right behind the leading truck, or you could do two separate elements right next to the trucks. As long as they're close to the trucks, they're going to stay on the trucks for you. And you notice I've got a little bit of weight on there. You want, to, you want it to be weighted just a bit, but because it's going to glide across the top of the rails. Too much weight, and you're going to create so much resistance, your locomotives won't be able to handle it. Now the design that I have standardized on is, the, this is from Atlas. These are 40 foot air slide hoppers and they're relatively inexpensive. So I bought several of these. These are Atlas train men. And so they make excellent starting points. So I've got several of these in different uh, road numbers and names. And so we're going to, I think I can take the top off of here you'll notice that I have it weighted as much as I can over the trucks. You need to, this, this car needs to be heavy because you're gonna have resistance in the center of it. Uh, but again, you can see that this is a more finished design. I actually used sheet styrene for the box and painted it flat black so when it is on the track, you really can't tell that that is a track cleaning car. Then going back to what we had originally, this is relatively the same car, only this has been more severely weathered uh, all around with streaks of flour and rust that you've got uh, on the sides of the cars. This makes it more eye-catching and it also helps hide. If people are looking at the weathering on the top of the car, they're not going to be looking at the bottom to see that it's a track cleaner. So this is part one. We're, we're, this is what we're going to end up with, and in the next part, we're going to show you the, how to cut it all apart and to get it ready to assemble. And then part three, we're going to assemble it and have a working track cleaning car. So we'll see you next time.